What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. In this episode, I want to talk about the newest addition to South Greensburg, Gander Outdoors. Now Gander Mountain left the area a while back. Camping World had purchased them and brought them back into the area as Gander Outdoors. Now I had the pleasure of visiting a Gander Outdoors out in Indianapolis, Indiana a few weeks back and it was spectacular. <clears throat> the store was huge. They had a great selection. And it reminded me of a crossbreed between Gander Mountain, Cabela's, and REI. So I was pretty pumped when I found that they were coming back to Greensburg and they were opening this month. So this episode, I just want to talk a little bit about my review of Gander Outdoors in Greensburg and let you guys know what I thought about their selection in the store overall. Hopefully this will prompt you guys to check out the Gander Outdoors in Greensburg or the local store that's coming near you. So first things first, when I got to the store, I immediately walked in the door and shot straight to the fishing section. And what I found there was a pretty decent selection of rod and reel combos. They had a lot of the Abu rods and a lot of the ugly sticks that I would use. And from a rod and reel combo, they had a decent selection. They also had some good fly rods and fly equipment available too. But one thing to note, Gander Outdoors really stepped their game up when it comes to fishing equipment in general. So tools like your nets, they had numerous sizes of nets and numerous types of nets there, which I thought was spectacular. They also had a lot more tools than Gander Mountain had previously. So just from the aspect of pure fishing equipment and tools, I give them a thumbs up. In addition to that, their lure selection. That's the big one, right? I was really curious to see what their lure selection was going to be like. Well, what I found was a great deal of trout baits, so spoons, Joe's flies, really any type of trout bait and panfish bait that you could possibly imagine. They had a good variety of jigs, and they also had two aisles dedicated to soft plastics, so your worms, your craws, those, those types of typical baits, but they had a whole aisle dedicated to swim baits, which I thought was fantastic. So they didn't carry the Big Bites Suicide Shad that I was looking for. However, they had a lot of different brands that kind of made up for it. In addition to that, they had a lot of good crankbaits, specifically the Rapala series crankbaits, and a good bass bait selection minus the spinner baits. I didn't see a lot of good spinner baits there. They had a really small selection, but hopefully they can get that fixed. In addition to that, I was pleasantly surprised to see a musky section. They actually have a small section in the back of the store dedicated to musky fishing. And with that, they had musky innovation swimming dogs and they had the chaos tackle medusas. So it's actually lures that I would buy and use in our area. So I was super pumped about that as well. Overall, the fishing section I thought was much better than the Dick Sporting Goods we have in our areas, which Thumbs up, Gander Outdoors. Thank you for giving us another venue to purchase gear and equipment and walk around on a rainy day. So in addition to that, I took a look at their hunting section. They had a good gun selection. They had a good bow selection. They had a lot of equipment in general for, for hunting. So I'm going to give Gander Outdoors a thumbs up. Even though the store is smaller, they still have the essentials, which is nice. The only thing that I noticed is that their camping section was slightly lacking. I felt like Indianapolis had a much bigger camping section, which kind of, I think, hurt Greensburg because there's a lot of campers out there and there's a lot of cool equipment that they could be carrying like REI. We don't have that type of store out here and Gander Mountain previously kind of filled that gap. So with that said, I think the camping section was a little lacking. However, one awesome note was they actually have kayaks in the store and not just your typical kayaks. They have a wide variety of kayaks, actually. They had probably about a dozen kayaks that I looked at, which I thought was another plus. Their clothes selection, always good. They had t-shirts, they had hunting gear, um, they had hats. So in a way, it was like it felt much like the older Gander Mountain, only maybe a better version of it. So with that said, hopefully this review is beneficial for you guys. I think it's worth checking out Gander Outdoors in Greensburg or the local area as soon as they can get into your area. Now, I'm not sure if they're coming back to Washington. Um, I, 
I heard in Indianapolis they were only planning on opening up Greensburg, but check out the news, check for Gander Outdoors in your local area, and definitely spend some time out there. If you guys like what you're seeing, feel free to like the episode. If you like the content overall, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys very much. Take care.